What's going on guys, PC here, and welcome to another episode of First Look. Today we're taking a first look at Kiss Psycho Circus, the Nightmare Child on the Sega Dreamcast. This is a first person shooter that's based off of the Kiss Psycho Circus comic book series. And I'm playing it here for the first time. I hear the game isn't so great, but I'm going to be the judge of that. I don't like to read reviews, really, of games before I do these first look videos, because I want to form my own opinion on them. So even though I know this game is not really well-reviewed, I'm hoping maybe it'll be a hidden gem or something like that. You never know, uh, but because everyone's opinion is different. But uh, let's go with the... I don't know, I'm not sure what the difference between new game and play game is, but let's go to a new game. Um, I guess this is difficulty level, lullaby, sleepless, and nightmare. We'll go with sleepless, which is, I assume, regular, standard. Alright, so here we are in the game. Apparently the story is something to do with collecting some artifacts to make yourself more powerful or something like that. I don't really know. But uh, unfortunately this game does not support the keyboard and mouse, which I was always under the impression that all the first-person shooters on the Dreamcast supported keyboard and mouse, but unfortunately I was wrong. Um, this particular game, and I guess uh, Rainbow Six does not support the first Rainbow Six game, which I always thought was a th third-person shooter, but, uh, alright, what did I just pick up there? I picked up something, and I'm glowing and hovering, and and I grew something out of my back. <laughs> or, or, oh, okay, I have some type of Arabian Night sword here. Interesting. Alright, so how do I... okay, the right trigger swings the sword. This is a really dark game. Alright, so there's a stage here. Can I, uh, jam on some guitars or something up here? Beat on some drums? Apparently not. Can I kill the drums? Die, you stinking drums! Lousy guitar! Alright. Where am I supposed to go here? Jukebox. Gotta go through this door. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, I can jump with the left trigger. Okay, the D-pad up opens doors, apparently, or interacts with things. Mm, is this just a dead end? I picked up something. I don't know what I picked up, but... Alright, let's go this way. Can I open this door? It is locked. Maybe I should check behind the bar. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for the clue, pal. At least they uh, help you out if you get lost. Check behind the bar. Um, how do I get behind the bar? Hmm. Oh, can I open that? No. How the heck do you get behind the bar? Maybe I should check behind the bar. Well, how do you get behind the stinking bar? Jeez. How the heck do I get out of here? Maybe I should check behind the bar. Can I, can I slash the screen or something? Oh, that's how you do it. You have to break the screen. Okay. I got it now. Oh, here's the switch. All right, so that should open that door. Oh boy, we got some bad guys. Really weird looking guys. They look kind of like the head crabs from Half Life. Die, you stinking purple head crabs! All right, takes care of them. So let us proceed on. Finally, out of that room. Jeez, they just keep coming. Alright, that should be the last of them. Whoa! I spoke too soon. Jeez, these things are everywhere. What do we got in here? Ooh, a key! I want that key! Probably open something really good. Man, this game is so dark. can't jump high enough to get up anywhere. Maybe I can... I don't know, maybe I'll level up later and I can jump higher or something, because I can't seem to get up there. Oh, you probably get up there from the top, I see. Okay. 
I guess we'll proceed on this way. Go up these stairs. <laughs> Didn't even see it coming. Locked. Why are all these doors locked? It's probably unlocked with that key that I saw. To figure out how to get to the key. Holy moly! I need a lawnmower or something. Jeez. It's a good thing I have a sword. Jeez. Oh, come on. Oh, great. Now I don't have a sword anymore? Now I just have to use fisticuffs. So, can I not get my sword back now? Oh, this is fantastic. So... I'm pretty much stuck with hand-to-hand -hand combat now, apparently. This is gonna suck. Wow, that is not effective at all. I better just run. Oh, look. There's some stuff. Is that a weapon? I need that. How do I change weapons? I need to equip my weapon. Oh, there we go. Oh! I wonder if I had that sword all along. Please be health. Okay, good. Those blue liquid vials are health pickups, which is good. Oh, jeez. Am I supposed to destroy this thing? Oh. That's where the head crab things are coming from. Sweet. Alright, so that takes care of that. Oh, there's another one of those portal things. Must kill portal. Okay. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Is this where that key is? Oh, man. Man, I keep losing all my health. Alright, here's some health files here. That'll help. Those armor fragments? Not sure what those purple square things are. Oh, there's the key. Sweet. Got it. Alright, now I should be able to go and open that door up here. At least I think that's what the key is for anyway. So let's go over here and over he Where was it? Over here. Oh, come on. Do I have to actually equip the key? No. Hmm. So I guess that's not what the key is for. Well, that's a bummer. I don't know how to open it. What is this? Oh! <laughs> okay, so that's some sort of electric door. So that key wasn't for that. Oh! Oh, come on! Don't tell me they dropped me down to the beginning again. Ah, oh, jeez. Wait, am I supposed to go outside? Oh, I'm just supposed to go outside. Alright, so apparently I'm supposed to head to some place called the Indigo Palace, where I'll find the second armor shard. Oh, come on, are you telling me I cannot get up here? Really? It's a box. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so I'm supposed to find this Indigo Palace place, and find an armor shard, and then do something with a golden mirror. <laughs> I don't know, it's such a weird story. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, that takes care of him. Boom! Take out this portal. There we go. Oh boy. 
Oh jeez, now I have no health, and I'm dead. This game is actually not that bad, though. I don't know why this got such a bad rap. I'd say the only negative I can really say about it is the fact that it's just really dark. It's uh, hard to see a lot of the time. But the game plays really well, and it controls surprisingly well, considering it, it just uses the standard controller. There's no keyboard and mouse control. So I guess you could call that a second negative, because it doesn't support the keyboard and mouse, but... It's surprisingly easy to control even without a keyboard and mouse, so... So that's impressive. But yeah, I mean, it's not a bad game. I don't know why this game got such a bad rap. Which is exactly why I like to form my own opinion on a game rather than read reviews and... It, it kind of makes you, if you read a bad review about a game, you kind of expect it to be bad, and so that's why I really don't like to read reviews on games before I do a first look video, because I want to form my own opinion and not be influenced by what other people say about the game. Wow, that was really easy. <laughs> was that supposed to be a boss battle? Oh, this is another guy. Well, that's easy enough. And is that the second armor fragment? Yeah, apparently. Oh, that gun is actually attached to my hand. <laughs> Alright. Cool. So yeah, this is actually not a bad game. If you see it for cheap, I say give it a try. Like I said, maybe it is a really bad game, <laughs> and uh, I just haven't played far enough into it to realize that, but uh, who knows? I think it's pretty good so far. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.